want a strong brain. You want a strong brain. So let's throw some brain teasers at our brains and see how they handle it. Make them strong. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and today we are testing our brains. We're going to be Agent Smith. Who's Agent Smith? Well, he's the coolest spy in the world. We're going to stop an evil scheme and save the day by solving puzzles and testing our brains. Let's do this. Where is Agent Smith? He's right in front of you. He's the man. He's the myth. He's the legend. Um, what? You want me to... Oh, I've got a... <laughs> I don't think that's how you... Make sunglasses. Anyways, um, let's give him his sunglasses. That's that's definitely going to make him much cooler. There he is. Wear your coat or turn up the heater. This is going to be so cool. He got a package, but it looks suspicious. All right, what should we do with it? It's dynamite. Put it, throw it in the safe. Oh my gosh, we died. All right, we got to work faster. Open the safe, open the dynamite, throw it in the safe, close the door. You're good. You're, you're a secret agent, man. Yet another attempt on Smith's life. Evil guys hate him because he's so cool. Let's investigate the package to get some clues. Oh, no. We have to, like, we have to range everything so that it, it makes sense. Make it make sense. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm going to try. I need this corner. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. There's a piece that seems like the right spot for it. I need this. This, th this thing goes here. Yeah, that looks right. But we need something to fit right in that that little spot that we created. Oh, I got it. I got it right here. Right here. This this goes right here. Yeah. Okay. Just got to line it up. All right. D trust me. I'm a secret agent. I know what I'm doing. And then this, does this go across the top? Perhaps? Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, this fits right in here. There is a piece that is like missing. Like a, a very small section that is very missing. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe this will fit right in there. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. Okay, you probably go right here. That seems pretty good. You go here along the bottom. Um, You have an N, so you're going to fit in right there. Beautiful. Something, something with a 19, I think. Go right there. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Go up a little bit. Up a little bit? Mmm. I don't know about that. I don't think that's right. All right. Well, whatever. We'll we'll figure it out. You go up here. Okay. Wait, what am I supposed to be figuring out? I got to get... I got to get a number? It's 1792. Is that... I did all of that just to get the 1792? I could have figured that out a long time ago. Whatever. I liked piecing together the puzzle of the cut up package. He can follow this tracking number to get the culprit. He must drive to number 1792. It's this one. It's this one. You passed it, man. Can we go back around? Can we re Well, maybe it's this one. Here. That one. Right there. 1711. Okay. I feel like 1792. Yeah, you're, you're here, right? Come on, get in there. It's right there. Maybe I have to take the nine from a different place. I don't know what is happening here. <gasps> there you go. I knew it. There it is. All right. Watch out, bad guys. Smith is home. The house is abandoned. Let's gather some clues. Okay, what do we got? We got uh, a book. We got pants. We got a really messed up couch. Wait, move the couch. <gasps> A gun! Okay, can we move the cabinet or the TV? Maybe I can maybe I can fix that. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. What is that? I don't even know what that is. What else do we got? There's there's gotta be something hiding in here. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I can move this. What what am I gonna am I gonna wipe away the, the cobwebs maybe? Oh, move the pants. Okay, move the books! An ID. What a dummy. The bad guy left his ID. No villain can hide from Smith. Fortunately, these villains are particularly stupid. It was a trap. There's a bomb in here. Um, you always cut the... Wait, no. No. There's a... <gasps> cut the blue wire right now. Cut it. Okay. And then wait 
for zero to 20. I love that they left instructions on how to defuse the bomb. Just the little note, just in case. Now we can get rid of that one. We can, what? No, you don't. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, it's good. Someone really wants to blow up Agent Smith. Let's find out who. Spin the wheel for a reward. I don't need your rewards. I'm a cool secret agent. Back to the office. Let's investigate these objects. We, we put the little, the dusty, and then we, we dust for fingerprints. I mean, the dude's face is literally on that ID card, but whatever. We'll, we'll pretend like we're trying different ra ways to identify these bad guys. A phone definitely has fingerprints all over it. It's just like, oh, yep, there you go. Okay. Okay, we lift those fingerprints, and then we find them. Smith does not need a forensic team. He can do anything. What a guy, man. He's so impressive. All clues point toward a man with baldness and a scar on his eye. I like how they describe baldness as a disease. He's suffering from a rare disorder called bald. I think it's this granny with the wig on, because that totally looks like a wig. Remove it. How do we? Oh, we have to move the fan. Oh, oh, wait, no. Yeah. Okay. And then how do we find the scar? There it is. I knew it. I was on to you, Granny. Nice dress. Got him. Smith must catch the man. Um. All right. I don't. Um. Oh, unplug the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's. <laughs> Smith didn't do that though. I did. Whatever. Smith loves the traffic laws. Of course he would. Smith found this paper on the man. Decipher it. I was enjoying a delicious donut in my tiny car. Then I hit a pedestrian. There are capitalized letters that should not be capitalized. The E. This I. Can the D? Yeah, okay. Obviously, I'm gonna have to rearrange these letters because um, they ain't looking right. Um, can I take the I? No. Okay. Can I take the other D? I can. And then the E? Okay. It's I a day. I knew it. No, you know what? You know what we can spell with this? Die D. <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna say. We could smell died, but you got an extra letter, man. There, fixed it. Uh, Eddie, maybe? That seems like a bad guy's name. Let's, let's go E, D, D, I, E. Eddie. No? Is this not, was that not one of the first things that I did? Who is this Eddie? We must find him and destroy him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got I got way too into the Smith must interrogate the man to find out who Eddie is. Oh no. Tickle him. This is t you must put on the boxing gloves. What are we doing? What are you going to do with a hammer? Wait. What, what? Maybe we take off the glasses. No. Okay. Um we just do this. Tickle him. Tickle tickle his feet. He's very ticklish. No? Tickle the, his his baldness? No? Okay. We give him boxing gloves? No? You got your hands in your pockets, man. You gotta be less cool and take your hands out of your pockets. I have no idea what to do here, Agent Smith. You gotta help me out, man. Smith does not like violent interrogations. I... I kinda got that. What do I do with it? That's the thing. I don't understand. Okay. Take out his shoes and tickle him with something. Oh, I was supposed to take his shoes off, you dummy. There you go. All right. Maybe I'm not cut out for this whole secret agent thing. But this guy is going down. He's telling us where Eddie is. Okay, stop. It's Eddie Batty. What a name. He has big plans, so he wanted to get rid of you first. Quote, the tickled bad guy. Smith must infiltrate into Eddie Batty's mansion to uncover his plans. Of course, Eddie Batty has a mansion. He so would. So I have to move Agent Smith. Okay, yeah. Hide around the barrel. There you go. Get in there. You got this, man. You're in. Get in there. No! Oh, I have to go through the window. 
Okay, okay, all right. Sneaky boy, sneaky. Ooh, ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. He's so good, he's so good. Smith wants to buy such a mansion after he retires. It's quite ambitious for you, Agent Smith, but I hope you reach your goals. Smith must find a way to turn on that laptop. Uh, press the power button, just throwing it out there. Just the thought. Okay, there's gotta be more to this. What is this thing? Is this a battery of some sort? <laughs> All right. What? What is this? Do I have to like scan it? What? <laughs> okay. I hope it has an SSD. Smith must hack the computer to log in. Good thing Smith is a master hacker. Press the power button. What do I do? Oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Yes? Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, something about this doesn't seem correct. Can I move this? I can. Ah, there you go. Okay. Hacking is just one of Smith's 1,000 talents. Incredible. Smith is exposed and he forgot his guns at home. All right. Uh, just run. Just run, bro. Oh, no! Um, all right. Maybe I can... No. Okay. Maybe I... Make them shoot each other. Ha <laughs> ha Classic. Classic Agent Smith. Who needs guns when you have dumbs? Smith must escape the magic and open the door. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. Wait, what? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. You open the door and then you close it. No, you, oh, okay, wait, what is this? <gasps> I got this. Okay, and then you put that thing there. Flatten the tires. You're welcome, Smith. Monster Hunter Joe must have paid a visit here. I don't know who Monster Hunter Joe is, but I agree. Smith found out that Eddie has planted bombs to a skyscraper's basement. Find them. Um, maybe smash open a wall? I feel like, or, or just, no? Okay. Oh, we can like, we can scan? What are we gonna do with this briefcase? <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, right, there you go. That looks like a bomb. And then you take the hammer. Yeah, you do it again. There you go. Okay, okay, I got the bomb, but I gotta disarm this thing. Oh, okay. Say bye-bye to your evil plans, Eddie. Eddie is trying to escape with a helicopter. Stop him. I don't know, I don't know. I really, I feel like I gotta like, gotta do something with this water tower, but oh. Oh, I just murdered our, our friend. I don't know. Please stop Eddie Batty. All right, I need a hand. You can rise the building with your finger. Oh my gosh, and then I crash the thing. How does he do it? How does Agent Smith have that kind of power? I am your worst nightmare, Eddie. And then he puts the glasses on. Oh, he's so cool. Smith must get down to confront Eddie. Oh my gosh, Eddie. Really? You wear black and white striped shirt. Like, like you're ready to go to jail. He's like, look guys, I already got the, the gear. I'm ready to go. Um, something with this umbrella. Maybe I can lower the building. Okay, wait, no. And then, and then you jump. You jump. You, 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 you use the umbrella to float down Mary Poppins style. And then you do a few of these and then he's done. I love the, he knew what I was thinking before I was even thinking it. I am Mary Poppins, y'all. That's it. The final showdown between Smith and Eddie. Well, Agent Smith lost. No, no, we can't end it this way. We need boxes. Put the boxes in front of Agent Smith. Protect him. Come on, I can't. Oh! <laughs> All right, he can break his back. All right, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, come on. Okay, you gotta time it right. Wait, what are the boxes for then? There, he did it. What are the boxes for? Is he gonna shoot another bullet? Oh, he is. Okay, just, just hold that pose forever. I really don't know what to do. Oh, maybe if I stack them and then I bend backwards, it's gonna bounce off of the boxes. Of course it is. I don't know what those boxes are made out of, but apparently they are bullet reflecting boxes. And of course, Agent Smith knew that. So this was how our cool Agent Smith defeated Eddie Batty's dastardly plans. He stopped bombs, dodged bullets, and jumped down from a long building. Just a regular day for the best spy in the world. 
Agent Smith. All right, that was awesome. This looks incredible. Bad luck, Betty. Betty is an extraordinarily unlucky girl. She just wants to go fishing, but nothing will go according to her plans. You must keep her safe. Let's do it. All right, Betty, what's going to happen here? Banana peel. Get it out of here. Uh, the vacuum. No, no, no. Oh, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. I can do this. I can do this. I can save Betty. Move that, and then you wipe up that. And then I don't know what to do with this vacuum. Maybe she'll just she'll be good. She'll she'll make it. She's good. You got it. Good job, Betty. Whew. Whew. So far so good. I am feeling very lucky today. I will protect you. Her boat is taking water. We gotta scoop it out. You got yeah. There you go. Okay, we got a hole in it. We gotta we gotta plug that hole. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I spoke too soon. No, Betty, you're good. <laughs> She fell down from our boat, help her! And now, of course, there's a some strange octopus monster. I, it's not even an octopus, it only has six legs. Use the starfish to ch hurl them at this monster like shurikens. What do I do? Do I just place these on each of its tentacles? I mean, there are six stars, and there are six tentacles. Did I save the day? No? Alright. Here. 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 There. Something tells me this is not the correct way to handle this situation. I'm glad that she can she can breathe for so long underwater. It's very impressive. I don't know what to do here. I really I I need help. Give me a hint. Pull out the tentacles. Oh, you just pluck them like hairs? But they they grow back. They grow back at an alarming rate. Um maybe if I put the Starfish? Yeah, okay, the starfish blocks the the regrowth of the tentacle. And now, you're just a circle. Yeah, take that, sea monster! The monster is done, but I don't know how to swim! That's okay! You know how to breathe underwater, so you're fine. She is drowning. Can I get these rocks out of here? Would I give her something to float on? Oh, okay, okay, I gotta give her this, and then I can... Control her. There we go. Oh, man. All right. My brain is feeling so strong. It's, I'm going to be powered up for the rest of the day. I guess I swallowed some fish. Why? Why would you do that? She got on the land, but is she breathing? Uh, I don't know. Um, How are we going to save this lady? Maybe maybe the balloon? Use the air from the balloon? I don't know. I don't know. There's something broken over there. Maybe I can just do CPR. I don't... I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, the broken plank in the background is just the plank that she washed up on the shore with, right? The one that we gave her. There's a frog. Do I give him the balloon? No? Something with the coconuts? No. So, help me. You must inflate the frog by holding its breath. Do I just tap and... Hold? Are you serious? Okay. And then... <laughs> we used a, a frog to do CPR on Betty. Betty is her name. Of course it is. Ew, this is not even a prince. Oh, uh, that's a bear. Uh, give him an apple. Give him an apple. Get out of there. Thro throw a rock at him? I don't... Ooh, you're done. Here. I'll throw a rock at the apples. Maybe. I, we gotta, we gotta appease the bear here. The rocks go back to, to where they were when I let go of them. So, <laughs> what? Betty, you're making this really hard on me. Um, can I move Betty into the tree? I can't move Betty up the tree. She, she won't climb the tree. Can, okay. Maybe I, maybe. I don't know what to do with you, Betty. I'd like to throw the rocks at the bear, and this is not working. Help! Betty must feign death to trick the bear? What? Like, how do you do that? Do I do I just, like, twirl her around until she gets dizzy, and then she falls over? This is not working. I need more help. Drop the apple on her head by shaking... What did that say? Do I have to shake my actual tablet? Yes. Drop the apple on her head by shaking the phone after bringing her below the tree. There is no chance that I would ever 
figure this out. I, there's, okay. I'm, I'm mad, but also like, kind of like that, that's pretty clever. But there's no way I would have done that. This human smells like fish. Well, bears eat fish, so are you gonna eat her? We must get rid of this bear. Oh, there's a beehive. Okay, and then put the beehive on the bear. The bear doesn't like bees. Some tells me bears don't really care about bees. Mommy! All right. The bear is gone. Time to wake her up. Okay, how are we going to wake her up? Something with the bird, right? See if I just tap the bird? Or... Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, whoa. Okay. And then the bird plays a, a beautiful song that wakes up Betty, maybe? No? Do I do something with the, the stick, the branch that the bird is standing on? So we managed to get the bird to the other tree. Great. Now what? Help. Those berries can make the bird poop. What a way to wake her up. All right, so we have to get the bird to eat the berries. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go, bud. Yep. You want another one? Of course you do. How about another? There. Right in the mouth. Sorry, mama never gave me any potty training. That's disgusting. You're a bird. You don't need to be potty trained. But maybe Betty will learn a valuable lesson. Don't sleep with your mouth open. What a way to wake up. She must clean her face. Oh gosh, you got bird poop all over your face. You just gotta put your face in the water, Betty. Come on. Drag both hands together, okay. And then splash that, okay. And then just dry off with a leaf. Hopefully that wasn't poison ivy. Knowing my luck, I bet this leaf is highly poisonous. Is it? Oh, I was really hoping that it was just gonna be a shot of her with like red boils all over her face. Um, not yet, at least. She is lost and hungry. Give her favorite fruit. Hey, it's she's thinking of Agent Smith. He is very cool. And I think about him as well. Let's get you an apple, huh? Okay, maybe I need to wait until the apple is over your head. There, no, okay. Maybe I give you the apple from your thought bubble. No? Okay. Is it this one? It's this one. You just gotta eat the f food, Betty. Come on! Okay, keeping Betty alive has to be one of the hardest things I've ever done. What is wrong with you, lady? Just eat the apple! Look at the shape of the apple carefully in her thoughts. It's this one. No? It's this one? No? It's none of these ones. Oh my god. It's this one. This is the one she wants. That's the only one she's gonna eat. Even though she's dying of hunger. That's the only one she's gonna eat. This lady is something else. Now let's find a way to get out of this forest. I agree, Betty, I agree. She found a road, time to hitchhike. Something with the bees? Oh. Okay. Do I make the bee attack her? No, the bee is attracted to the honey. I don't know what I'm doing. I can control the bee, basically, but why? I don't know. Put her thumbs up. Okay, that's stage one. And then maybe I make the bee sting her thumb so that it swells and becomes bigger so that the, the people can see it. Uh, unbelievable. Ouch, unnecessary sacrifice. Well, at least Betty has a good attitude about it. Oh no, it's bad guy. Is that Eddie? And then ticklish bad guy? These guys are evil. She must get out of the car. Just jump. Take off your seatbelt. Okay. No. Throw your seatbelt at the bad guy. No. Do something with the soda. Drink the soda. Throw the... S oh, wait, 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 wait. We can pull the handbrake. <laughs> I... You gotta put your seatbelt on first. Okay, there you go. And then the bad guys, of course, being bad guys, they don't wear seatbelts because they're dumb. And then Betty's totally fine because she's not dumb. This is why I hate ride sharing. Yeah, it happens all the time. Every time I Uber, I get abducted by evil people. She must escape from these guys. Okay, something with this boulder. Yeah, yeah, okay, she's gonna jump over it. Release the boulder so that it starts rolling down the hill or don't. What do I, how do I make the boulder fall? Do I have to shake my tablet? 
Nope. Oh, the branch. And then you jump. Oh, beautiful jump. And they're dead. They're done. Who needs Agent Smith when you got Betty? I did not know that I was such a great jumper. Well, now you know you can breathe underwater and you can jump super high. She is definitely a superhero. There's a helicopter, but they can't hear her. Why can't they hear her? Because she's not being loud enough. Something with these goats. Maybe you got to go to the like the, the middle of the canyon to like project your voice. I don't know. Oh, that's an angry goat. That's also an angry goat. Okay. Oh, a horn. You can use that as like a, a trumpet. Brilliant. I don't know if you can really do that. I don't think uh, goat horns are hollow, but I like the idea. Yay, a free helicopter ride. Hopefully it's not full of bad guys. Or it's not full of bad guys. It's just full of really bad pilots. <laughs> the helicopter crashed on snowy mountains. She is freezing. Uh, make an igloo, right? Unbelievable. Betty, you're insane. You, I can't believe you just did that with your bare hands. Burr, burr. She must wake that Eskimo to get help. Wait, was the Eskimo already in that igloo? Or like she built it and then he just invited himself in? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let's cook this fish and then let's feed it to the sleeping Eskimo. No, let's feed it to ourselves. No, we cook it more. Nope. Okay. Do you want this, man? Here, I'll just, I'll just place this on the back of your head. Help. Flip your phone to see his face? What does that mean? Flip your phone to see his face. Like, like flip it upside down? Are you serious right now? Okay. Here. There you go, man. There, again, there's no chance that I would have figured that out. I gotta flip it back though, cause I got a cord coming out of the back. Is this an angel? No, it's a fish. This kind Eskimo will take her to the nearest airport. What a guy. He needs something to like lure the dogs. Wait, what? I can, wait, I can rearrange the dogs? Oh, maybe, maybe, okay, like that? That is not correct. You're in the front. Do the dogs smile once they are in the spot they want to be in? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, we got this. Yeah! <laughs> All right. What a kind Eskimo. Where did she go? Never saw her again. She must get up from there. Okay, um, uh, melt the, the water, right? Y you, you remove the clouds, and then you bring the sun a little bit closer to the ice so that it melts, and then it floats her up, and then, of course, she gets abducted by a UFO, duh. It happens all the time. All right, so she's going to outer space. She's not an angel, but an alien, it seems. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me at this point. Get rid of these aliens. Uh, quick, press a button. Oh, that's doing something. I don't know what. Put that, ah, oh, and then you break the window open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm awesome. You're awesome, Betty. Well, how do you drive this thing now? Just fly it back to your house, you're good to go. Just watch out for Saturn on the way home. I guess, just gotta, oh, I can, what? what am I doing? Do I use the planets to, oh yeah, I, I create an orbit with the planets, okay. And then, grab like that, and then we just gotta bring, there you go, you're, you're good, you're home. You've done it. Look at you, Betty. You're a space pilot. At least I have a cool UFO now. And then she crashed the UFO into her house. Okay, at least I have returned home or whatever is left of it. We love you, Betty. Never change.